the Reserve Bank of the United Kingdom's newest step demonstrates how central banks are becoming more interested in blockchain technology. The Bank of England is investigating synchronized payment settlement via the Interledger Protocol. The Bank of England believes that the Ripple Protocol, which allows for synchronized settlement across several ledgers, has the potential to dramatically impact the worldwide financial transaction sector. The Ripple Protocol has the potential to profoundly alter the market for international financial transactions. The protocol's major goal is to build a system of financial transactions that is not only efficient but also lightning quick. The outcomes of the Bank of England's integration of Ripple's protocol with ARCAC systems are explained in detail in the previously cited film. Transactions can now be completed at a faster rate and with greater efficiency than was previously feasible with traditional payment methods. Earlier this year, the Bank of England and the Treasury ran a public consultation to obtain a better understanding of how the CBC, also known as the Digital Pound, could be used in British society. The conversation was undertaken with the hopes of gaining a better understanding. CBC is making substantial inroads into a variety of financial areas. One such example is the situation around the digital euro, which is currently being investigated by European Union regulatory agencies. Ripple and XRP are frequently and incorrectly mistakenly considered synonymous. Ripple is a for-profit organization that promotes and supports XRP, the software that powers it, and several other transactional efforts. It is critical to identify that they are two separate businesses, but the corporation feels convinced that they are not linked in any manner. XRP is a type of cryptocurrency. Ripple is a for-profit organization. It is powered by the software XRP. Ripple, formerly known as OpenCoin, was founded in September 2012, one year after the XRP Ledger project was launched. Ripple's previous name, OpenCoin, was renamed Ripple in 2015. Previously, Ripple Labs was known as Opening. After a few name changes, Ripple's open payment system, which eventually became known as the Ripple Consensus Ledge, was rebranded as the XRP Ledger. Guys, another shocking breaking news is that Influencer reveals the possibility of XRP at VEF among seven apps. As more corporations seek Ethereum, based exchange, traded funds, debates about the feasibility of a Ripple F have begun. Mike Selling, a former Commodity Futures Trading Commission lawyer, took to Twitter to discuss the recent increase in the number of applications for Ethereum exchange, traded funds with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. According to Selig, if an exchange traded fund for Bitcoin becomes available shortly, an ETF for Ethereum will very certainly follow suit. You may find Selling's tweets here with the Hyman speech, the SecFin hub framework, and legal rulings in Ripple and Terraform, the case that ETH is not a security, although being initially offered as one, grows stronger by the day. In response, a key figure and influencer in the XRP community raised the prospect of an XRP exchange, traded fund which strengthens the case even further. Ripple, a blockchain-based payment platform and cryptocurrency, has caused quite a stir in the world of finance since its inception. The company best recognized for its digital asset XRP has been attempting to garner mainstream acceptance to establish a foothold for its unique cross-border payment solutions. Ripple is currently anticipating the exit of retail investors while welcoming significant institutional investment. Ripple has recently stated that it is eager to discontinue its engagement with ordinary investors to focus its efforts on securing substantial investments from institutional investors. This shift in emphasis comes as Ripple prepares to introduce the second iteration of its XRP token. This video delves into the motivations for the establishment of the XRP token. Based on Ripple's journey thus far, this video looks deeper into the reasoning for Ripple's most recent strategic move and assesses the potential repercussions for the future of the blockchain and cryptocurrency industries. Ripple is a cryptocurrency that was created in 2012 
and has swiftly gained popularity due to the unique consensus algorithm that it employs as well as the efficient settlement mechanism that it employs. In contrast to Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies, which rely on energy, intensive mining processes, Ripple employs a one-of-a-kind consensus procedure known as the Ripple Protocol Consensus Algorithm. This is in contrast to the fact that Ripple invented the Ripple Protocol Consensus Algorithm. Ripple is positioned as a more sustainable solution for financial companies as a result of this technology, which considerably speeds up transactions and minimizes the amount of energy required. This is because Ripple can complete transactions much faster. Ripple has prioritized collaboration with banks, payment service providers, and other financial institutions throughout its development to facilitate the ease of international financial transactions. This strategy has led to the formation of several collaborations with well-known global corporations, bolstering Ripple's credibility as a viable answer to the payment processing industry's problems. Ripple has also placed a strong emphasis on collaborating closely with banks, payment service providers, and other financial institutions. Retail investors or individual traders and investors acting on a smaller scale have considerably assisted the expansion of the Bitcoin industry. In the case of Ripple, retail investors have actively traded XARP and held it as an investment asset. Even though individual investors are generally believed to be less hazardous than large institutional investors, their curiosity and passion have frequently been a contributing element in price swings and unstable market circumstances. Because some retail investors want to make quick money through speculative trading, the cryptocurrency market's price volatility has proven to be a double-edged sword for Ripple. This volatility has hurt Ripple on both sides proving to be a double-edged sword for Ripple. These relatively short-term pricing swings, driven by market demand, have the potential to divert Ripple's attention away from its primary purpose of forming long-term partnerships with established institutions and producing sustainable solutions. This would be a good thing for the industry as a whole. Ripple's advancement has been hampered in recent years by several crucial issues and the importance of clear legislation to Ripple's future cannot be emphasized. One of these is the absence of clarity in the relevant regulations. In December 2020, the Securities and Exchange Commission filed a lawsuit against Ripple, saying that XRP was an unregistered security and sought monetary damages from the company. As a direct result of this legal battle, the market value of Ripple's fell significantly, resulting in exchanges delisting or stopping XRP transactions. The anticipated entry of institutional investors is likely to cause regulatory agencies to reconsider their stance on cryptocurrencies, potentially leading to the formation of a more transparent corporate environment. This would be advantageous to the Bitcoin sector. If the regulatory environment in which Ripple operates becomes more defined, the business may be able to gain the required footing to expand its services and strengthen its ties with financial institutions. For the time being, that's all I have to say about it. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you in the next video.